Hey guys, welcome back to Pants and Fun. Today, I'm gonna show you something I know. How to hold the sword properly. Why should we hold our epic properly? Answer, so it doesn't fall. Second reason is to manage the weapon with your fingers. Nowadays, we mainly use two different grips, the French or the straight grip, and the anatomic or pistol grip. For both the thumb and index finger are those who direct the tip. Other three fingers are for support. The French grip looks a little bit like this one, because with your index finger, you're gonna hug the grip. Your thumb goes here. Your other three fingers go here. Your fingers must be supportive, but relaxed. To avoid pain or cramp, you will work with a relaxed arm, having better flexibility and speed. That's called suplice. Now let's see the anatomic grip. This is the most recently created grip. It is a little easier, especially for beginners. This is the anatomic grip. Thumb will be mostly two centimeters from the guard. And your hand will always remain in the same position. One important detail. The thumb finger must rest over the grip and it always must be aligned with the wire in the FA. One reason of safety is if the blade breaks, it most probably be in a less dangerous shape. This is what I mean. Thumb aligned with wire. Thumb aligned with wire. When you hold your epic correctly and with a lot of practice, you will build something called Duarte. It's the ability to control the tip of your weapon with your fingertips, especially thumb and index. Have you realized how much I've set on the grid? Well, that is how important it is. So let's get to practice. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. And don't eat my donuts. Do mine.